Hello everybody and welcome back to World of Warships Legends. My name is Spartan Elite 43 and tonight we are back finally taking our very first look at the tier 4 British heavy cruiser the Hawkins. So with that being said let's get to the commander. We're using Bruce Fraser. We have Nikolai Von Essen as our commander inspiration as well as Norman Scott. We are running Beyond Range igniter punch through and fixated as our main skills with the fully packed as our legendary skill now we have uh, bruce Fra fraser already maxed out and he is a legendary too all right look at it to ship we have aiming systems mod one is our only uh, thing we are fully upgraded look at our stats we are running the community contributor flag a lot of people ask me about the different flags. You get these by buying different premium ships or completing certain missions uh, when they pop up. You'll have to keep an eye out for those. Personally, the community contributor flag, you get that for being a community contributor. Uh, uploading, I think you have to have at least a thousand subscribers on a YouTube channel or whatever platform you use. Okay. The camo is also CC camo. Stats. 32,200 hit points. We have 10% torpedo reduction. Artillery, you have seven 190 millimeter guns with 15 kilometer firing range. Reload time is 12 and a half seconds. 180 degree turn time, 16.4 seconds. Maximum HE shell damage is 30, uh, 3050, so 3050, with an 18% chance to set fire. And the AP shells have a maximum damage of 4,374. Now the first thing you're gonna notice is we have HE and AP. Unlike the British light cruisers that only get AP, you have flexibility. You have the ability to use the HE, and it is very good HE. Uh, secondaries, you have 122 or 102 millimeter uh, secondaries that reach out 4.7 kilometers, and you have eight of them. Torpedoes, you have two dole launchers, so four torpedoes in total two on either side of the ship 533 millimeters the reload time is 53 seconds uh, the maximum damage 15,733 so they pack out quite a punch for a 533 millimeter torp especially at tier 4 you got to remember this is tier 4 now the torp detectability is respectable at 1.2 kilometers and it, the closer you get to that one kilometer mark or below if you're in the uh, Russian ships the better um, torpedo range is only six kilometers, so they're more of a defensive torpedo, but you can get away with, with using them, especially if you're, uh, being chased. Torpedo speed, only 59 knots, though, so they are pretty slow. Maneuverability, 30.8 knots, so not horrendously slow, but not particularly quick for a cruiser. Turning circles, 640 meters, and a rudder shift time is 9.1 seconds. Concealment is where these, uh, ships seem to be doing pretty well. This ship with this build is down to 10.1 on the or 10.1 surface detectability. That's that's really really good, um, and you could easily get this below that. If I if you inspect into a double concealment or something like that, it, I could see this going to like eight kilometers. Like you could really get this down there. Uh, maybe not quite eight, but somewhere in there. So you could see how these and these are heavy cruisers. These aren't a joke. So uh, they could be quite nasty. Detectability by air, 6.3. Uh, guaranteed is always 2. And then the detectability in smoke is only 5.5 kilometers. So it's actually pretty good in that regards too. Even though it has 190 millimeter guns. Alright, armor. It is well armored for a cruiser. Uh, for its tier especially. But uh, you've got 20 millimeters upper. Well, I guess that's showing the bottom. The very, very bottom. Okay. Then your foreign plating there shows you 13 millimeters on the, the top and 13 millimeters between the 20 and the mid belt. But uh, try to show the, uh, let's see, that's the aft end armor belt. And it's showing 57 millimeters. Okay, so the fore end armor belt is 38 millimeters. Uh, so, you're not going to be getting over, over, uh, overmatched through the bow unless they know that they have to shoot higher. And even if they do overmatch you, they're not likely to citadel you. It's kind of nice. 
I'm not going to lie, I really do like the Hawkins a lot. Uh, we'll talk later about the Devonshire, but the Hawkins is a nice ship. I actually enjoyed the Hawkins quite a bit. Uh, overview. Sequential torpedoes, that's the British thing. Big guns. This ship is armed with high caliber main guns. Again, tier 4 with 190mm guns. Nasty. The pioneering ship that led the way for a later class of heavy cruisers, this ship's layout and silhouette had much in common with the British light cruisers of World War I, but Hawkins surpassed them in size and the caliber of her main guns. She entered service in 1919. And there were five of them in the series. I don't know how many were built, but there were five of them in the series. Now look, let's look at this ship. Does this look like a ship that was built in 1919? Because for me, it looks a lot more modern than that. Like, seriously, it looks good. It does look good for me, anyway. But that's just my, uh, my personal opinion. And it's a really fun ship to play. If you guys get the chance to play this ship, it's, it's a lot of fun. It really is. It's kind of a bully. So... With that being said, let's get to the gameplay. Alright, before we get started, I just wanted to bring up Tactic Angel, fellow CC and uh, World of Warships Legends player, is having his 5,000 subscriber stream on Saturday, February 6th at noon. And he's doing this stream to also help raise money for, I'm going to say, Gary Sinis Foundation, I think is how you explain how you say it so gary sinis foundation this uh in celebration of getting 5,000 subscribers we're having a stream and also trying to celebrate that by earning some money for one of the best charities out there for helping veterans in the united states the gary sinis foundation was established under the ph philanthropic direction of actory gary sinis an advocate of our nation's defenders for nearly 40 years our mission is to serve our nation by honoring our defenders, veterans, first responders, their families, and those in need. We do this through a number of national and local programs. These programs, designed to entertain, educate, inspire, strengthen, and build communities, serve America's heroes and their loved ones 365 days a year. So, please, if you want, head on over to Tactics Channel. I will link it down in the description below uh, on you know, it's actually going on right now. If you guys are watching this, it's going on right now. So make sure you guys stop over there to uh, check out his stream. And he, I like I said, he's a great guy. He knows what he's talking about when it comes to the ships. And he's he's doing it for a good cause. So there, there's not much more that you can hope for in that sense. So with that being said, let's jump over to the gameplay. Alrighty, so we're going to be on Haven. And, like I said, I really do enjoy this ship quite a bit. It's, it's a very fun ship to play. It's tanky. It's got good guns that are pretty hard hitting. The only issue that I have with it is that the shells tend to take forever to get to the target if you're shooting at any sort of range. So uh, you definitely want to try to get close up with most of the targets that you're going to be fighting. Now you do have to be careful. This is still a tier 4 cruiser, even though it is very tanky. It is also very easily taken out by battleships, especially if you give too much broadside. And considering the layout of these guns, it's going to want you to give more broadside. Now, you'll notice that it's got two guns in the front, it's got three guns in the rear, and it also has two wing turrets midship, one on either side. So, at the most, you're ever going to get is six guns onto the target. So keep that in mind now you don't want to be given a broadside to too many people you got to be careful but you can get away with it especially against most of the cruisers that you'll come up against now that being said there are some exceptions cruisers with very good armor piercing such as the American cruisers as well as the Konigsberg very dangerous if you give them a broadside and obviously the uh, the furry taco I believe is tier 4 I'm thinking, I think it is. I think the tier 5 is Aoba, right? So, yeah, the Furry Taco has 203 millimeter guns. So you don't want to be giving him a broadside, though the AP for the, the Japanese cruisers is iffy at best. Uh, you still don't want to be taking that chance. Now, we're going to go ahead and take some shots early on. Notice I've got the armor piercing loaded, but uh, most of the time you're going to be using armor piercing against 
most of your targets. Uh, you will switch to HE, and it is very good HE, like I said. Uh, but it, it's on a situational bur uh, situational approach. Now, I've had some really good games in this. Uh, this was one of my uh, quicker games as far as getting damage in and showing what this thing is capable of against both cruisers and battleships. So we, we definitely wanted to show that and uh, show you the goods and the bads of the ship, hopefully. That's always the goal. Uh, but you can see, like, because of the firing of the, the turrets, the way they're laid out, you really do have to give all of your ship up if you want to get the full broadside. But you can get three guns to, to bear at a relatively decent angle and, and still have quite a bit of firepower. But when somebody's giving you this much to look at, it's going to be fun to just reach out and start citadeling. We're already up to three citadels, guys. It just The game just started. You don't want to sleep on these, especially in a cruiser. Destroyers either. Battleships, you can get away with it for now. But I'm sure that'll change later on as we get into some of the other ships, especially those 203 millimeter guns that are pretty nasty. Now, we look over to our left. We've got the Karlsruhe out there. Don't really have a shot at him. We're looking at the Marblehead, and then this Yahagi is thinking, you know, I think I can win this fight. And he's like, well, he's thinking he can win the fight. I know he can't, but uh, he's definitely doing more damage with the HE than I care to uh, give him credit for. But we're going to show him why the AP is better. If you're getting a broadside of a cruiser, load the armor piercing, man. <laughs> what are you waiting for? I don't care what ship you're in, okay? If you've got a broadside of a cruiser, you better have armor piercing loaded. You're just going to give yourself more chance to do more damage. Now, he's getting damage. He's getting fires and stuff like that. But, again, fires and HE, you can heal a lot of that back. Whereas armor piercing and citadels, not so much. And so we've taken all of his health already. We're, we're getting a little bit unlucky here towards the end of this fight. Uh, just getting good shots onto him. He's kind of angling. He's, he's turning enough to throw off the aim a little bit, and that's all it takes to avoid those big nasty Citadel hits that he was taking early. Uh, we're still getting some good hits, 1,300 damage there. He's going to turn in, and uh, we're going to fire another salvo of armor piercing at the bow of the ship, and then we're going to switch to our, or to the high explosive for this uh, next shot and showcase just how nasty the high explosive can be too. Uh, you give me the broadside of your ship, it's still British art, uh, British high explosive is nasty. And sure enough, that's going to do it. Down he goes. <laughs> and of course we got a fire too, right? Three hits was enough to take him out. We get our first kill. We're up to 36,000 damage. We took uh, a little more damage than we should have in that fight. We took a little too long. Probably could have switched to the HE a little sooner when he started dodging. Uh, we weren't getting those citadels, but I was always hopeful that I was going to get a couple more citadels on him and just finish him really quickly. Uh, but we get a marble head coming out here, broadside onto God and everybody, and he I've got armor Pearson getting loaded, so we're going to go ahead and take that shot because broadside arm, uh, marble head or, or an Omaha, that's Citadel City just waiting to happen. But we don't get a good shot on the first shot. We're going to try to lead him a little better this time. Didn't quite lead him enough last time. We get hit pretty hard by the battleship that's coming out. But uh, not too bad so far. We get a very good salvo on the marble head that time. No citadels, but a pretty good, pretty good shot. And we go ahead and shoot him again. Are we going to be able to finish him off? Yep. Oh, no, the Podvoisky actually got him. Uh, now, notice that that guy was shooting me. There's people right in front of him. He was shooting me. But this Orion back here is going to present some problems for me uh, because he has really big guns. And while he doesn't overmatch my bower stern, he doesn't need to overmatch my bower stern. It's plunging fire. And he's got plenty of plunging fire, or plenty of armor piercing, to go through the, uh, the deck armor of this thing. So we've got to try to close the gap a little bit, and unfortunately, we're going to get caught. And we're going to get hurt. Pretty good in a moment. Uh... You get suckered in sometimes, or at least I do. I get suckered in sometimes to getting into fights with people that I know is a bad engagement for me solely because I feel like I'm better than they are. Does anybody else have that issue? Like, if you ever get into a fight with something, you're like, okay, this is a battleship, I'm in a cruiser, I should be more careful. Oh, hello, he's just love. How you doing? Now, we had the armor piercing load, and you can see the armor piercing still does quite a bit of damage. It's still 190 millimeter armor piercing. That is a tier, uh, what, is just love, tier three, isn't it? 
I think it is. Oh, there's the shot from the uh, Orion punch me in the mouth. And then we get the shot off and we finish off our uh, Izjaslav over here. But yeah, that, that Orion really caught us in that last salvo. And that's going to limit what I can do. But one of the best things about these British uh, heavy cruisers is the fact that they get the heals. Those heals are huge, especially early game. Early game, they're huge. Now, when you get tier 7, you're kind of used to it. But, but early game... Like tier four, having a cruiser with this many heals is fantastic. And because we have the fully packed skill, we get an extra heal. So it, it is really, really nice. Not gonna lie. Um, but at the end of the day, it is still a cruiser and you still have to be wary of battleships. Though, you can get away with a lot more in this than you could say Omaha or Marblehead. Omaha, Marblehead, you, you make the wrong move, you're deleted. This thing can take a hit. It is pretty chunky, but uh, it also does really well against everything. It can kill destroyers relatively well, it can kill cruisers very well, and it can deal serious damage to battleships if left unchecked. Uh, the battleships, if they give too much sides, you've got the armor piercing, that's fantastic, and if, if you don't have a good shot for armor piercing, the HE is disgusting. So, it really is a good ship. Now, the Devonshire, I haven't had as much fun with. But uh, we'll talk about that in the Devonshire video that you guys will see later on. But uh, I definitely wanted to showcase this ship uh, first because it really is a fun ship. So when you guys get a chance, and oh my god, ooh, we got lucky. We got lucky. He doesn't overmatch us uh, unless he hits the top slash deck. So, uh, yeah, you can see he, he got a nasty penetration right through the bow of the ship. Not preferable. But we do have good damage against him we go ahead we're thinking about launching the torps he's out of range we don't really have a shot there's a guy right next to us even if we did launch the torps we would just hit our teammate so we go ahead we load the armor piercing one last good time assuming we're about to die we launch the torps and we kill him and die immediately unfortunately but we got him that's all that matters right so hopefully you guys enjoyed hopefully this gets you pumped for the uh, british heavy cruisers so far not too bad so if you like what i'm doing Punch the like button, leave a comment below, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and as always, I will see you in the next video.